When looking at the moon through any decent sized telescope, you get one hell of view. The, the craters shine, and you can barely make out the deep, make everything out in good t detail. The, cr the craters and the moon seem, seem to light up almost charismatically at night, giving you a, a view that can't really be forgotten. Looking at Jupiter through a telescope gives you a pretty awesome view as well. You can see the color of the planet, the bright, which is the which are the white and brown stripes around it, and not only that, but you can see f all of Jupiter's moons in orbit around the planet, and they can make some very interesting uh, formations or patterns. Like any other planet in our solar system, Mars is a very interesting sight in the telescope. What you see is pretty much a bright red orb. If you, sometimes if you look hard enough, you may be able to see its two moons, which are called Phobos and Deimos, or Deimos, maybe. Um, in this next picture, this that may be either Phobos or Deimos off on the left, but I'm not a hundred percent sure about that. When looking at Venus through a telescope, you can observe its four phases, during which it transforms from looking like a, a, the crescent of a moon to more like a full moon and back. Saturn appears small in most to all telescopes, seeing as it's 746 mi million miles away from the Earth, even at its closest at the time when it's closest to Earth in its gravitational orbit. However, when looking th at Saturn through a telescope, you can see the planet as well as the, its famous rings. Saturn is the only one that really has I iconic rings around it. The planets Uranus and Jupiter are said to have just discovered rings, but they're not nearly as viewable or as iconic as Saturn's 